So I thought of this kind of interesting idea, what if I transferred all of the files, music, videos and wallpaper from my PSP 1000 onto the Adrenaline emulator on my PS Vita. So on my PSP I've got quite a few PlayStation 1 games, um, I've got some PSP games, some homebrew games and it saves having to download them all again if I would just transfer the stuff from my PSP 1000 onto my PS Vita. So that was what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it, is it worth doing, um, I'll find out as well well so on my PSP 1000 I'm going to go down to USB connection I'm then just going to press X and I'm going to go and connect this to my computer I can also do the same thing on adrenaline or I can just open up Vita shell I'm actually going to do it via Vita shell so I'm just going to go and open up that and then I'm just going to press select and what I'm going to do is connect both of these to my PC and I will show you guys the best way to copy across all your files and games from your PSP onto the adrenaline emulator Okay guys, so on my computer, as you can see, I've got my PSP connected and I've also got my PS Vita connected. So there are a few files that we want to copy across from our PSP, just so we can pretty much copy across all of our games, all of our pictures, all of our ISO files onto our PS Vita. So on the PS Vita, you just want to go to the view folder at the top or just the view tab, click on hidden items and we're looking for the PSP MU folder, which is actually hidden, but it's this one right here. If we double click on this, this is going to look kind of similar to your PSP. So as you can see, um, or if I just go back on that, as you can see, they kind of look the same. So what we actually want to do is drag the files from our PSP onto this. Now, there's a few files you want to drag. I wouldn't recommend dragging everything. Um, I'm just going to open up a new tab just to make this easier. So yeah, let's just select our PSP here, or just our normal one. Okay, so the first thing we can drag across is ISO. I have got Tech and Dark Resurrection. I'm pretty sure I have this on my PSP already. Oh no, I don't. But I don't want to drag that across. It's quite a large file. Obviously, you can drag across all your ISOs if you want to. Um, the next thing I want to drag across is picture. So this has some like pictures on on my original PSP. So picture, music and video, they can all go on the route. So if you want to drag across all of this stuff, you can simply just drag and drop it like that on the PSP MU folder. Okay, so next we have got the SE plugins folder. I wouldn't recommend dragging that across. I wouldn't recommend putting plugins on. I'd install those separately with auto plugin. But if we go into the PSP folder, um, we can actually get some more stuff to copy across. So we've got common, we've got game. This is where all your homebrew games and PlayStation 1 games will be. So on, on our um, PSV, so if we go into PSP and if we go inside of game, we can actually decide what we want to copy across. So let's have a look. What have I got on here? Um, we've got Tekken 3. Make sure you do not copy across your custom firmware files. So that will be the flasher, the pro update and the fast recovery. Do not copy across these. Um, let's just copy across some other stuff. Maybe we've, we'll copy across Doom. Um, we've got Tekken 3. We've got um, Neo Geo emulator. Let's copy across these so I can show you these working. So this is going to take a while because it's around 800 megabytes. So let's see what else we can actually copy across. So that was the game folder. If we go back on our PSP, we've also got the save data folder, the system folder and the theme folder. I wouldn't recommend moving the system folder across, um, but in the save data, you can copy that across if you want to. And also themes, you can copy across themes. Let's just wait for this anyway. I'll be back when this is done. Okay guys, so that has done on our PS Vita, we can go back to PSP. We can also copy across save data if we wish. So as you can see, I've got some PS1 save data. I don't know what this is, I'm just going to copy it across anyway, because why not? And it looks like it's going to copy across in a second anyway. Um, we've also got the system file, as I said, leave that. That has like a bin file in that you don't want to screw up. And what else have we got? I think that is pretty much it. Oh, we've also got themes. So you can copy across the themes if you wish to. I mean, it's entirely up to you. You don't have to really. Um, yeah, I'd probably leave themes to be fair. Obviously, you can copy them across. Maybe we'll copy a couple across. Let's just go into theme. Um, what should we do? Let's just copy a few of them, maybe like these. If I just copy them, I just create a theme folder. I didn't actually have one on my PS Vita yet. There you go, all capitals theme, and let's just paste those in there. So yeah, that is how you transfer your original PSP files into your Adrenaline files. So you're basically copying across data from your PSP onto your PS Vita. Um, it's a lot quicker than downloading everything again from the internet. And maybe you have some ISOs that you want to copy across. So yeah, let's go back onto our PS Vita and let's just check everything has installed correctly. 
Okay, so once we're back, we are pretty much done with my PSP 1000. Now, all of the files that I want have actually been transferred across. On my PS Vita, what we can actually do is close down out of each shell, and we can actually just start up the Adrenaline Emulator. Okay guys, so I'm back on my PS Vita right now, and um, what we can actually do first is just check out my memory stick. As you can see, we've got the emulator, I've got my PSP game, I've got some other stuff, I've got some PlayStation 1 games. Obviously, we can just play all of these, and um, let me just show you right now, I can actually just boot up Tekken 3, and it will work perfectly fine like normal. So yeah, I think this is kind of useful, just... You know, it saves having to download all of the games and stuff like that again. It's easier just getting your old PSP and basically using that memory card, but on your PS Vita because you're just, you know, transferring all of the files across. So I'll just show you guys this game just works perfectly fine. There you go, Tekken 3 running. We can do arcade mode and let me just show you some quick gameplay, I guess. So PlayStation 1 games look really nice um, on the PS Vita. And um, yeah, so that is some quick Tekken gameplay. I'm just going to finish this guy because why not? And let's see what else we have got. I also copied across some pictures. So if we go into photo and memory stick, we should be able to find our PSP wallpaper. As you can see, that was the one I was using. They're all on here perfectly fine. Let me just set one as the background. And you can just press triangle and just go to set as wallpaper and then yes. And then obviously you can just set it as your PSP's wallpaper. It would have also copied across themes as well. So if I go into the theme section and then themes, and um, you can see I've got all the themes on here as well, and they should work perfectly fine. Um, we can actually try one. I don't even know what this is. Let's just try it and see what it's like. So yeah, kind of a girly theme, but it works perfectly fine. And um, yeah, I think that is everything I actually copied across. Some homebrew apps, um, like obviously the ISOs as well. Um, and um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. That is how you copy across all your files from your original PSP onto your PS Vita. I just thought this was kind of interesting, and it works quite well if you don't want to download all of these games again. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.